So to work out the engine torque, we simply multiply the horsepower of the engine by the 5,252. But what's this figure? Where did this come from? Well, if we plot on a graph the torque versus the revs per minute of a car accelerating, it would look something like this. And if we show horsepower on the same graph, you will see that there's a point at which these two intercross. And looking at the RPM value at that point, you'll see that it's 5,252. This figure is put into the equation to find the imperial measurement of torque of pounds feet. So multiply the horsepower of the engine by the 5,252 intercross RPM value and divide it by the RPM of the engine. So let's give an example. Some Formula One racing car engines are a thousand horsepower. So we'll times this by 5,252. And we'll divide it by their maximum RPM. Some of them are capable of revving at 20,000 RPM. So we'll put in this figure. So this horsepower at this particular RPM brings out a value of torque of 262.6 pounds feet. So any variation of either the horsepower or the RPM would of course affect the value of torque. So the calculation of engine horsepower then is simply the turning force of the crankshaft or the torque multiplied by how fast it is turning. Full revolutions per minute RPM. We then divide this by 5,252. So using the torque value of our racing car, which is 262.6 pounds feet, we'll times that by the 20,000 RPM. And then we'll divide it by the 5,252. This brings out the figure of 1,000 horsepower of our racing car that we started with. So coming back to the 1,000 horsepower figure that we knew of in the beginning is showing that the math we've been doing is correct. Torque is a necessary part of the equation in calculating horsepower and at the same time horsepower is a necessary part of the calculation in calculating torque. To put it bluntly, they are very much related. And if you like that video, then you might like this one. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching.